work on a little spoon. I started on it. I uh, split it with a, <clears throat> a hatchet and a little maul, and then I roughed it out with the bandsaw. So we're going to work on a little bit here. Uh, snowed last night. Uh, it's not that cold, but man, is it wet. I went back to the cabin and it's dripping everywhere because, uh, well, I'll turn the camera around here a minute and show you the trees. Uh, they're all covered with ice and snow and they're just dripping. I think, uh, I don't know, 30 something right now, 37, 38, It'll be 52 tomorrow. So we'll work on this for a little bit. I'm using a, uh, a Mora, I think it's, it's a Mora 120. It's probably my favorite little carving, carving knife. This is a, uh, yeah, this is just practice. It's been a long time since I've done any of this. There's a piece of, uh, piece of river birch McGee from Rat Pack Bushcraft he gave me he gave me he gave me two pieces <clears throat> so we'll see how it uh, how it works I'm hoping it I'm hoping it carves up good because I want to make uh, some utensils for camping this is hopefully a spoon for cooking I thought I'd whittle on this one a little bit, see how it was going to work before I split the rest up. And I said I'm probably going to split them up and then I'm going to cheat and use the bandsaw to rough them out. I've carved. I've got a, I've got one in there. I carved the wife. It's a, it was carved out of yellow pine, and then in my coffee stuff, I have a little piece, a little coffee spoon for scooping my coffee that I carved out of a piece of cedar. I found in the, uh, we were camped down. Well, I guess it wasn't camp. We were staying at B and B down in uh, uh, southern Indiana. So far it seems like it's going to carve okay. It's still green, so we'll see what happens when it dries out. Hopefully it won't split up. I'm sure I won't finish it today. Probably work on it some more tomorrow, but when I get done working on it today, I'll put it in a, uh, I'll put it in a Ziploc bag overnight so it doesn't doesn't dry out just drop a little bit as I go I'll get it too dull
that's getting close. Now we'll switch over to the uh, spoon knife. So this might, this wood might work okay. You can give me critiques in the comments. I'm no professional at this. I just like fooling around. Say all this one here is going to have to do is. Uh, Stir some uh, chili or some stew in my pot while I'm camping. Hear that noise in the background, that's the ice, the snow sliding off the roof. The thing's melting pretty good right now. This is a new tool I got for Christmas. This is a beaver craft chisel. It's a gouge for, for spoon carving and stuff. Made in Ukraine. So this is the first time using it. So it's pretty nice. So I put a, I got a piece of cow hide and then a piece of buffalo hide. These are my flint napping pads. I just laid those on my leg. So if I slip, I don't uh, turn my leg into a spoon. Yeah, that works pretty good. River birch seems to be pretty, pretty soft wood. It's not fast wood, but it still seems to carve pretty good. I got another tool. This is the first spoon carving tool I got. Uh, I got this out of an apocalypse box from Creek Stewart. Kind of looks like a leaf, got a curl. Um, it does a pretty good job too. It's just. Uh, I really need to make a different handle for it. That handle is just too small to get a good grip. And so these are just my basic tools I bought. Um, I thought if I really liked it, and I really enjoyed it, I might invest some money in a little bit nicer tools. These don't seem to work too bad, though. Like I said, this is a Mora. Really, the only thing I don't like about this one is it's sharp on both sides, so you really can't put your thumb on the back to, to scoop. But it does a really nice job. I asked for the chisel because I just thought if you get down really deep, I'm not sure this one will 
I don't know, it's doing a pretty good job right now though. Check every now and then, you don't want to scoop all the way through to the back. Now that little coffee scoop that I have inside that I made, I made that with just a pocket knife. So I didn't, didn't have any spoon carving knives or anything. Well, I had a few carving tools with me, but just straight knives. This is looking like this. It uh, just scoop you up a bowl of a bowl of chili. Just getting closer. And I have to go. You have to work back and forth depending on the grain. Otherwise, it'll want to tear. I think this is going to work real good. That's about as deep as I want to go. So at this point, at this point I have a functioning spoon. Now I'm just going to work on Making it look a little prettier. That's that's what I'm gonna work on. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. I'll show you what I got. I got a Ziploc bag, I'm gonna put it in. Start, it's got one little crack starting up there. That's okay, if I have to, I can cut it off and still have a usable spoon. But I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag, take it inside, put it up. Let it dry for a while, and then uh, I think that's supposed to, that should let it dry a little slower, and then that will be. Uh, and I'll show you when I'm all finished when it's when it is finished. I've got to uh, have to get me a piece of 
plastic tubing or something to put on that uh, to put on that new chisel. But it worked real good. I haven't heard anything but good stuff about this beaver craft. They seem to be pretty pretty nice tools. I think pretty much all of the all the tools that come out of Ukraine are, are really nice quality for the price. Let's put it that way. You can spend a whole lot more money. And if you want a car, man, I'm telling you, that little Mora 120 fits really good in your hand. It's a little rough with the gloves on here today, but it still did a really good job. And then you want to get, so I've never sharpened this any other way than just dropping it. And it stays razor sharp. So when I, I'll get that out, I don't know. I'll check it every week and see how it's looking. And I think it's dry enough, I'll uh, pull it out. I don't think I will, uh, I won't sand. If I sand, I won't sand very much because I really like the little carb facets in it. Well, it doesn't look like it's store-bought. Okay, that's what I'm doing today. So... Uh, welcome to the new subs. I got a few more subs this week. I appreciate that. Make sure you, uh, if you're not subscribed, hit that button. I appreciate that a lot. That doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out a bunch. Um, push the like button. And if you like this, if you like this, push the like button. And then uh, if you like to share it. All right, everybody. Have a great week. And we'll see you in the next time. Thanks for watching.